Hello guys, welcome to Symbol Tech Working Bench. Today I'm gonna play with this ESP32 cam. So without further ado, let's start with this video. Hold on, did I say let's start with this video? No way. Before starting with this video, please subscribe, activate the notification bell like that you'll not miss any video on my channel. So now, let's jump to my working bench and start playing with this ESP32 cam. Before you start playing around with the ESP32 CAN, make sure to prepare some jumper wires and USB to TTL converters in order to program the ESP32 CAN. Once we have all the hardware parts, we need also the software. So now, make sure you have a PC with Arduino ID installed in. And now that we are almost set, we can start playing around with the ESP32 CAN. So, in order to program this one, we need to use some jumper wires in order to connect with the USB to TTL converter, which are doing the same, only that they are using different chip on the board. So practically, from this board, from the ESP, we need to use uh, ground, RX, TX, and uh, 3.3 volts. And then we need also to jump these two pins in order to put in the program mode. We know that the ESP32 working on uh, 3.3 volts. So make sure if you are using this model of the USB to TTL converter, you set up the jumper to the 3.3 volts. Or if you are using this model, make sure that you are using the 3.3 volts uh, pin, which is this one here. So now let's do these connections. So we're gonna use uh, female to female uh, jumper wires. So we're gonna use red for the positive, we're gonna use white for the ground, and uh, black and purple for TX and RX. So let's connect the ground, which is the white one here. Then we're gonna use the RX the purple, TX the black, and then the red, as I say, is the positive 3.3 volts, which is the last pin over here. And as I say, we need another pin just to jump these two together when we are going to program the ESP32 count. So now let's continue. So I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use this one for this purpose. So I'm gonna keep that one aside. So make sure that you set up in 3.3 volts. So as you can see there is 3.3 volts, the jumper set. So these two are the 3.3 volts, so set up to the 3.3 volts. Then we are using ground, AX, RX, and VCC. So I say white is the ground, and I say the purple is the RX, the black is TX, and the red is the VCC. So here we are almost ready. Just now we need to go to my computer and uh, prepare the Arduino IDE with the, all the requirements in order to program the ESP32 CAM. So let's jump to my computer. It's time to make the Arduino IDE in order to recognize the ESP32 CAM board. So to do that, you need first to go to check the preferences and make sure that here you're gonna have this link that I'm going to show you right now. So make sure that this link here, you're gonna be type it in on this place. Once you type it in, just hit OK and hit again OK and you go to tools and you go to look for the board, so board manager, wait this paragraph to finish his uh, searching. Once it's finished, you just type in ESP32 and make sure that this one you have installed it, like in mine. See, it's installed it. If it's not installed, it, it will gonna show you here instead of the remove button, it will gonna have the install button. So make sure that you are hit that and you're gonna have installed it. Once you finish that, you close it and you go again to the tools and you look for the ESP32 Arduino and you select the ESP rover module. So once you select that, you still need to go again to tools to select also some specs over there so you go here where is the partition scheme huge hub so you select huge up 3 megabytes make sure that you select that one once you that done you can go to file you can go to examples and you look for the ESP32 and you open the camera web server which is this sketch over here that you're gonna have one two three four things inside so on the main one we need to do 
some modification. So make sure that this line is commented because we need to uncomment this line. The camera model I think. Once you comment that line, you go here and you put the, your Wi-Fi connection and your password. So once you're that done, you are almost ready to go to install the sketch inside the board. So let's do that. Okay, so how you can see I already connected to my uh, computer and we have this LED on over here. So let's now hit the upload button to the Arduino IDE and let's see if, if we manage to upload the software in. Go and check if the COM port is connected correctly. So in this case for me it's COM port 8. That one is done, you just hit upload. So first we're gonna compile the sketch and then it will gonna upload to the ESP32. If it will not work, make sure that when it's starting uploading you are just pressing also this button to reset the board to, to go straight away on the programming mode. So now if I hit the button, once it's finishing the compiling, it should start uploading straight away the, the code into the ESP32 clamp. So I can see now the uploading is uh, started. So wait until it's finishing and now should work. So now if we go to, to serial monitor and we select the baud rate, which is there. So let's check first the baud rate that the sketch is set up. So the baud rate is set up to 115200. So let's set up the same. And now we need just to remove this jumper over here to remove the ESP from the program mode and hit again the reset button and it should connect to our internet looks like has a little problem because uh, as you can see it doesn't go to internet and I know why because this board in 3.3 volts doesn't supply enough amps that the board need in order to work also the camera and also the Wi-Fi so I'm gonna just disconnect it I'm gonna put it in 5 volts over here and I'm gonna go to use the 5 volts pin over here if you can see here it has also 5 volts pin and now if I connect I have enough power in order to run so let's try let's hit the reset button and I can see now we have Wi-Fi connected and it's telling me if I go to Google and I write this uh, link over here I should see now the camera working let's try that so now we have the camera connected and let's type in that uh, link address http slash slash 192.168.0.13 Let's press enter. Look at that. We have our webs webcam server. So from here we are selecting the resolution and then start trim. And look at that. I am there on the video. So you can see I am there getting some noise maybe because the internet is not that much strong. But anyway, our camera working. You can see bye bye. How are you there? I am there on the screen. So we managed to make this one working and I'm really impressed with it. and from here we can also select more things and we can add more brightness if we need we can add more contrast if we need yeah we can do see so we can reduce so you can uh, make the quality looks better and also looks like here has also time things face detection and face recognition so on the next video we're gonna see what we can do with those ones this was the content for this video. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you learn something about this ESP32 CAM. If you might face any problem in your project, please leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help. Then we saw on this um, web server that this way ESP32 CAM have uh, face detection, face recognition. So on the next project, I will gonna have a look how to interact with them and how to make uh, ESP32 CAM to recognize faces. So that's why stay tuned. Please subscribe, activate the notification bell, like that you not miss also that project and if you might want to buy an ESP32 cam please watch this video and I'm pretty sure you are gonna find how I find it very easy and very cheap so until the next video guys bye bye